What's going on, guys? I'm Jado Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about Kanye West, man. Kanye West has had a heck of a, what, week, two weeks? Uh, he has been basically banned off all social media for the time being because of some comments that he made. I'm not going to get too much into it. But I am going to get into one thing that he said about Drake. He called Not only did he call Drake the greatest rapper ever, he said it a couple of different times on Drink Champs, right? Drink Champs has become the podcast for a lot of these guys, right? And he also spoke about the fact that <laughs> Drake slept with Kris Jenner. Now, Drake uh, had apparently slept with a Kardashian Jenner, and there were people that thought it was Kim. It may have been Kim, but it may also have been Kim's mother, Chris. Now, we've seen pictures of Chris and Drake together in photos. Honestly, I wouldn't put anything past Drake. Um, Drake does not have the most uh, de discipline. So the fact that he would be out here smashing these, you know, these Kardashian Jenner heifers, that really don't surprise me. Because if you you got to look at, you know, the, the type of women, he's dealt with all types of women. So I would not put it past him whatsoever. I would not put it past him whatsoever. And Kanye spoke about it. And uh, again, when you're in the industry and you're dealing with these industry, you know, peoples, you have to understand something about them. Uh, a lot of times they will sleep with all these different types of women and then it, it goes from just sleeping with women because you're attracted to them to sleeping with women because of who they are. And I've noticed that as well. You will start seeing guys dating women. You're like, he's dating her. She's like 20 years older than him. It's, just, it's about who she is. Right. And that could be what's going on here. Now, Drake, not Drake, excuse me. Kanye doubled down on it. He doubled down on it. And... He's like, yeah, they did sleep together. And we know that Kanye's had his issues with the Kardashian Jenners. People are saying, well, this could be because he's bitter about something. He doesn't like Kris Jenner. He blames her for his marriage not working and or he's mad at them for some reason. And that is why he's saying those things. I think he is saying those things because he believes they are true. He believes that, you know, Chris is for these streets as well. <laughs> now, this is probably before she got with Corey. But, you know, she was married for a long time. So, you know, because once she broke up with that particular person, and I believe she was single for a little while, but then she started dating Corey. So was this during the time she was with her ex? Uh, was, was this before Corey? Because we know Kanye doesn't like Corey either. Corey is, is Chris's is boyfriend, quote unquote. But I think that, Kanye wants to put it out here that, you know, Chris is for these streets as well. Not just the Kardashian Jenner sisters, but that uh, the mother, Chris, is again for the streets as well. So let's get into this article. This is from Hip Hop DX. So Kanye West has implied that Drake once slept with Chris Jenner, the mother of his ex wife, Kim Kardashian. The bombshell claim came during Ye's latest Drink Champs interview on Saturday where he alluded to the OVO hitmaker having relations with the reality TV star who was 31 years his senior. Kanye began by heaping high praise on Drake, with whom he made peace last December, following a high-profile feud, unapologetically crowning him the greatest rapper ever. He also then asked by Drink Champs, who co-hosts Nori, about a recent Instagram post where he claimed Drizzy will f your baby mama's mama he did say that uh before so it ain't posted on his ig yeah that was hard yay replied as the room erupted in laughter you know what you know what it mean a hey, Corey gamble know what it mean he added referencing uh jenner's longtime boyfriend Corey. <laughs> you know you know chris don't care chris one of those women she her morality ain't really up there uh, liberal women to me have no morals so they don't really care about cheating and they don't care about uh faithfulness in relationships they will go out here and they will still sleep around or what what not so yeah let's take a look drake drake is the greatest rapper ever and I don't, I don't, I don't apologize about it. You said in war he held fuck your baby's mother's mother. 
Yeah, that was hard. That was, that was hard. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what's going on? What, 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 what does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, like something. Like, we yeah. was confused. You know what it means. So, <laughs> God damn it. And, and I put like, Corey know what it means. Corey, oh my God. So, um. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Let me get another one. Uh. Drake. I tell you, man, Drink Champs is becoming like one of the one of my favorite as far as like getting these clips. One of my favorite podcasts to get these clips because you see all these podcasts, most of them are useless. But Drink Champs is becoming one of my favorite podcast platforms. Drake is the greatest rapper ever, and I don't, I don't, I don't apologize about it. You say in war, he held fuck your baby's mother's mother. Yeah, that was hard. That was that was hard. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what's going on? What, 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 what does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, 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 we yeah. was confused. You know what it means. So, <laughs> God damn it. And, and I put like, Corey know what it means. Corey, oh my God. So, um. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Let me get another one. Yeah, um, that, hey, listen. When he said that Corey knows what it means, it's because he's talking about Corey Gamble, who is the boyfriend of, of Chris. Like, you know, you're, you know, you're sharing Chris with all these other guys. She's in these streets, too. <laughs> you know, you got 60. What? How old is Chris Jenner? 67. <laughs> and she in these streets, too. Absolutely. Let me tell you all something about these older women like Chris Jenner. OK. If they have attractive daughters, what they will do is they will always post pictures of them with their daughters, right? To show everybody what her daughter looks like and to try to get some shine while being right next to their attractive daughter. Chris Jenner does that too. You know, and in her position as leading the Kardashian Jenners, I'm pretty sure she slept with a lot of men in the industry that people may not know about. I mean, it got so bad, you know, her ex became a woman. Her ex-husband became a woman. You know, that's the that's the Kardashian Jenner effect, man. Oh, let's just clip one more time. Drake. Drake is the greatest rapper ever. And in, I don't I don't I don't apologize about it. You say in war he held fuck your baby's mother's mother? Yeah, that was hard. That was that was hard. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what's going on? What, 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 what does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah, yeah I mean, it's just like, 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 like we yeah. was confused. You know what it means. So, <laughs> God damn it. And, and I put like, Corey know what it means. Corey, oh my God. So, um. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Let me get another one. Uh, it says Kanye alluded to Drake and Chris Jenner's alleged rendezvous during his Instagram post spree, posting spree following the backlash to the White Lives Matter shirt he wore at his Yeezy Season 9 show in Paris earlier this month. Drake is a F your baby mama's mama. Uh, that's a real war. Uh, that's real war. He wrote in an iPhone note on October 6th along with the caption Bernard Anolt Week. Referencing the LVMH Moet Hennessy Louis Vuitton chairman who he recently accused of ending Virgil Abloh. Kanye never revisited the topic, although he did name drop Drake numerous, uh, numerous more times on Instagram, uh, including thanking him for liking one of his posts in the face of widespread condemnation over his controversial shirt. Uh, let's see. Drake knows me. Everyone knows me and Drake have had a rivalry in the past. It really warmed my heart to see Drake like one of my posts. Ye wrote, we still need the Donda team to play Nocta. All Drake music will be played at Donda games moving forward. This isn't the first time salacious rumors have surfaced about Drake and the Kardashian Jenner clan. In 2018, speculation arose that the Toronto rapper slept. Swept to, uh, to, Toronto rapper 
slept with Kim, uh, Kim Kardashian during his feud with Kanye West thanks to very suggestive song lyrics that were interpreted as reference to the Skims founder. During his previous appearance on Drink Champs last November, Kanye shot down the notion that Drake slept with Kardashian, with whom he shares four children and is currently entangled in a bitter divorce. Honestly, I, I think that Drake told him that he didn't do it. And that's why Kanye is, is saying this. It still could have happened. It still could have happened. Drake could have still smashed Kim and is basically telling Kanye what he wants to hear. But then, he, it, you know, then all those lyrics will be for not, right? But Drake is known for subliminally dissing people that he's cool with. I mean, we all know this. There are people that y'all believe that he was cool with, but he was subliminally diss them. Jay-Z kind of does that sometimes in his music. I had this conversation where Drake was like, I never effed Kim, but I was like, but you acted like you did. He said, you got bars like Hidden Hills, give your wife the chills. It's like somebody throwing a marble and hiding their hand. All that's disrespectful. It got to the point where Kim was like, I don't listen to this N word no more. This N word acting like he effed. Drake and I never really had that conversation like, oh, I never effed Kim, but no. Did you ever DM her everything else around it? Cause it ain't about just the actual act of it. Kardashian uh, denied the rumors in 2018. Of course she did. Uh, let me say this too. This could definitely be true cause nobody has denied it. And maybe, maybe Drake told Kanye this. Drake could have said, I didn't, I didn't F Kim, but I did F Chris. <laughs> Like, just imagine, like, you didn't F Kim, but you did F Chris, Chris Jenner. You know? And maybe Kanye, if that's true, and let's say that Drake did tell him that, I could see why Kanye got a chuckle out of that. Saying that you <laughs> you, you did smash Kim, uh, Chris, but you never smashed Kim. And I could see why he got a chuckle out of that. It's like, what? Like, what is going on here? But I want people to understand something. That's what happens when you get involved with the Kardashian Jenners. You know, it's really gonna mess you up. Uh, did did Kim? Did Kanye being with Kim derail him? I don't. I don't know. Financially, it didn't. Uh, notoriety and fame, it didn't, because Kanye West is still at a high level, if not a higher level than he was before he started dating Kim. I think at first it was calculated. It worked out. His business has been booming. I just think that, you know, Kanye is at a point to where he's going to go viral no matter what. And he's and he's also going to use his ex and her family to continue to do that because of the, the issues that they have. Which if Kim knows better, she would try to resolve them instead of trying to gaslight this guy. Because Kanye enjoys this. He enjoys getting on social media. He enjoys doing these interviews and airing out people, just like he aired out Diddy and Meek Mill. And he's continuing to do so because he knows that he's at a point where he can't be canceled. I tweeted out on my Twitter at Unofficial J, Kanye West can't be canceled. He can't. The guy's a billionaire. He just bought Parlor. The attempts to try to control this guy are not going to work. Kanye West, Kanye West is like myself. We, we do not like to be controlled. That's why I'd rather work for myself than work for anybody else. I, I realized that in my early, my mid twenties, I don't want to work for nobody. I'm on, I don't want to be controlled. I, I I'm I'm good at you know managing myself. I don't want any managers or supervisors. And I think Kanye, when it comes to the things he says on social media, it's all about controlling his own narrative. We all as men should control our own narrative, and women as well. But you know. Mostly men are probably going to see this. So let me say in the comments, let me know your thoughts, like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see y'all next.